What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games with a weird focus on Game Pass, but hey, we're not doing Game Pass today. Today, we are focused on Cyberpunk 2077 through GOG. Uh, Edge Raider came out. Everybody's crazy about this crap. I figured I'd go ahead and teach you the basics of modding it, but be aware, this is a freaking mess. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So before we even actually get into this, CD Projekt Red, thank you so much for not, you know, supporting built-in modding. As a result, every single mod out there is a collage of random mod loaders. This is the mod we're going to be using today, which is Let There Be Flight. Makes cars able to fly. For this, we are going to require an input loader, a mod settings, a mod EXT, red strip, tweak XL, while some of these are just required by a ton of mods, like Red EXT is used by so many mods, so it's probably a safe bet to install regardless for whatever mod you're gonna use. There's no guarantee that this exact setup is going to work for the exact mod that you need because, again, Cyberpunk 2077 does not support built-in modding. It doesn't have an ability to easily inject packs. It doesn't have an ability to just simply load DLLs and extension libraries. This isn't Bethesda. This is, we've got to put utilities in to be able to make mods work. Basically think of it like Stardew Valley, except for instead of somebody making SMAPA off the start, you had a ton of people just create these random utilities to work for mods. And so we have a ton of different options, all depending on which way the given modder decide to work with. Or let there be flight, we will need all of these, which is tweak, script, settings, and input loader. But on the bright side, most of these require something else. So for input loader, we need red EXT. So this is gonna be our first one regardless. Script is gonna end up being the second one we install because it also has no dependencies. Tweak XL requires red EXT. So this is gonna go at the same time as input loader. And mod settings requires red for EXT and red script. So all of this has to be done before. And then finally, finally, we'll get to do Let There Be Flight. So let's go ahead and start installing stuff. The bright side, installing all this, almost all that just goes inside the game directory. So finding your games folder is super easy. All you gotta do is open up GOG, click up here, go to manage installation, show folder. Voila, that's where we're gonna be putting almost all of these mods. Now, I'm gonna do a temporary tum jump here because I'm going to download all of these. But hey, since I just finished that rant about all the mods that are required for red mod and the other mod to be compatible, we need both CyberCMD, which will function as a in-between for red script and red mod to make them work together, and Cyber Engine Tweaks. I think, I think that's it. I think that's all. Pretty sure. Anyways, back to downloading them all and we'll get back to it. Now we have a total of eight mods. Seven of them just to get the game thing functioning. One of them to actually get our mod going. Let's go ahead and start how I said we're gonna start with Red EXT. We're just gonna grab this and we're going to move it straight over into the game directory. Track the content of the archive into the game directory. So, oop. On to the next mod. Red script is our second one. And we're going to install this one by going ahead and opening up engine here. Download the archive available in the files tab and extract it in the main cyberpunk 2020 directory. Actually, never mind. We're just gonna move these right in as well. Boop. Now we need the in-between here, so we're gonna go over to the cyber CMD and move this in. And then we're going to go over into the ooh, game version, I guess. Let's see here. Oh, game versions, the Cyber Engine tweaks, which we need for the Cyber CMD to be able to just run. All right, then we're gonna go into the input loader. And 
and tweak XL. Lastly, mod settings. And then finally, finally, we're going to go ahead and grab Let There Be Flight. So eight mods later, we have well put everything in there. Let's see if this thing will even actually run. If this does work, my old save, hopefully that save's still valid, will actually pop up and let us drive flying cars. One would hope. Honestly, it's been a minute. We're loading, loading. It's taking its sweet time. Please buying some key combinations for tackling an overlay. Overlay keys not bound. What's a good overlay key? I don't know. We'll go minus. Please buying some key combinations for tackling. Okay, four keys. Do, 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 do. Do. Please find some key combinations for toggling overlay. Combo can be composed from up to four keys. Do, do, do. There we go. There's Cyber Engine tweaks. All right. <laughs> oh. Do, do, do. Okay, cross progression, I don't care about, wardrobe, whatever. Let's just get in here and see if we actually got this functioning. It has been so long since I've played this game. But I'm curious if this will actually do what I need it to and let me grab a flying car. It did successfully modded the game. Man, it's been a minute since I've been here. Let's see, do we have an older save? Killing in the name. This looks like in the street. I have a manual save here. So let's go ahead and load this one because I don't really want to deal with this mission to be able to prove that this modding thing worked. All right, let's get out of here real quick and see if we can't find a car. Because supposedly we have configurable flight now, right? Oh, I can fly! I'm not a good pilot, but I can fly! <laughs> oh, shoot! Uh, lift, space. There we go. Well, now we can jet around town in a minivan, I guess. So this works. So there's the basics of how you mod Cyberpunk 2077. And I realize this tutorial is gonna fall far short of what people need, just because it is such a slew of random mods. Right side, it's all almost just drag and drop the folders in. You've got a lot of side utilities that are gonna be running this stuff for you. So the actual setup should be pretty easy depending on what mods you want. Best of luck. This was Catchman. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.